everyone, my name is Katie Carson. I am one of the soap makers here at Royalty Soaps and today is another installment of making your design into soap. It's actually funny, the entire video, I don't think I ever mentioned why I picked this particular design nor what book it reminded me of and that is truly a shame. This design is from Morgan. It is one of my favorite designs I have done yet. As soon as I saw this, I was reminded of a book in my childhood. It was written by Jan Brett and illustrated by her as well. She is one of my favorite children's authors and I love everything that she illustrates because she very much has her own distinctive style. Usually she puts a big picture in the middle of two pages and then around the border are little like sub scenes. And this particular one reminded me of Happy Birthday Dear Duck. I will leave you guys a link to this down in the description box below. But it was one of my favorites and I always had my mom read this near my birthday. I guess as a kid I kind of identified to it because Duck lives in the middle of the desert and my birthday is July 26th and I live in Texas so it also feels like I'm living in the middle of the desert. And no spoilers but Duck gets something that is definitely going to cool him off. So thank you Morgan so much for this design. I hope you like what I do with it and without further ado let's make some soap. Wham bam thank you ma'am. We're ready to go. We've got the oils, we've got our lye water solution. They're both at room temperature. So let me blend this up real quick, probably about 20 seconds or so on low with my pinkity pink stick blender. Oh, the stick blender. It has such a short little job, but so necessary. I thought you like using a whisk. I like both. Now, usually I just start dumping stuff in buckets, but today I'm gonna be a little more precise because our gal has designed something, well, that's a little more precise. She knows exactly where she wants her stuff and I'm gonna do my best to achieve it. So into this container, we're gonna color this a dark color. I'm gonna show you guys her photo for reference. This is supposed to be the gravel layer. So you've got this gravelly bit here. It's gonna have some white flecks in it. I'm gonna add a little apricot seed powder for a little bit of scrubbiness. The color that I've added is a mix of dark brown oxide with a little bit of nocturnal mica. If I decide that it's a little bit too dark, I might add a little bit of TD, but we're gonna mix this up first, see where it gets us. Nope, nope, see I'm mixing it right now. I already know we're gonna have to add some titanium dioxide. I'm gonna mix this up a little bit with my stick blue under first. We'll see where my color's looking after that. Literally perfect. And you can see little bits of white and little bits of dark specks in there. That's the apricot seed powder. That's not the color. So here I have some chopped up bits of cold processed soap. She said she wanted some white flecks to look like gravel. This is so much fun to do. <laughs> I went ahead and added the fragrance oil in. I'm using Lush Succulent today. This is from Brambleberry. She said in her design, perhaps something earthy or natural. And I figured Lush Succulent would be the perfect thing because it does have just a teensy tiny bit of smell of like soil that has been freshly turned up. And then that green leafy, almost aquatic note that a succulent leaf would have or an aloe. And now that the fragrance oil is mixed in, we're gonna add some of the white bits. I have mixed up the soap a little past what I would normally do. That way the soap bits are suspended in it and they don't fall straight to the ground. To the ground. Through the table. To the ground. <laughs> now I'm gonna fold these into the batter and yes, kind of looks like feta cheese. Uh-huh. Okay, everything has been mixed in. This first gravelly layer is ready to go and we're gonna pour it into our molds after this quick commercial break. I said that I had lined up this shot practically perfect and Kenny called me Mary Poppins and I'm not complaining about it. I'm just basically trying not to splash anything. <laughs> Ooh, plippy ploppy sounds. <laughs> All right, so now that I've scrapey scrapeyed out my container, it is time to mix up the next layer. <laughs> so this next layer is a slightly different colored brown. We sort of have a dark gray, black brown on the bottom, and then a slightly more chocolatey with a little bit of ashy toned gray on the inside within some very, very light tan for the roots. So that's what we're gonna try to do in this next layer. So I've added a little bit of the first color from the 
first layer. And I added a little bit of regular brown oxide. So this is gonna bring it to that sort of, well, just more chocolatey looking brown color. I added a little bit more of the antique silver because again, trying to get that perfect shade in there. I'm gonna blend that up and then add the fragrance oil. See what I think. I've removed from the bucket 16 ounces of this brown batter. That's the one that's gonna be a lighter shade for the roots. I'm gonna set this off to the side and I'm gonna pour this big container into the mold. Oh guys, it's heavy. Oh man, okay. I'm gonna try not to spill, which is honestly easier said than done. I've gotten pretty good at uh, pouring and talking at the same time, but uh, don't be fooled. I'm honestly kind of a weakling and that was hard. <laughs> I'll pour in that second bit right here. I'm gonna scrapey, scrapey my container. I'm just gonna wiggle this down just a teeny tiny bit. And then off camera, I'm gonna go ahead and mix some titanium dioxide. Are you oh. serious? Oh Every... no. Oh my gosh. Look at that. No, draw no attention to wow it. Wow. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna mix up some titanium dioxide into that container I have off screen. We're gonna pour that on top and do a hanger scroll. A hanger squirrel? Are you serious? A hanger swirl. All right, now it's time to pour the little rooty bits on top. So it's actually pretty hard, which is good for me because it's gonna keep those root lines really defined, but it's not so hard that I'm not gonna be able to mix it. If I pop a little bit up on the edges here, that's not gonna be a big deal. And honestly, it doesn't even have to go to the very ends. You can see there's some brown still exposed. Looks like dessert, smells like a Plant. Okay, so now with my hanger swirl tool, I am gonna mix this up a good amount. It always feels like you're mixing it up too much, at least for me, it feels like too much, but I'm really not. That's just how much you have to mix it to get it to look good. So it's up and down, it's down low, because these are roots, remember? So we're trying to push it down quite a bit. And then it's gonna swoop across the edge there. So satisfying, so nice and clean. And then because these are full, I'm gonna very gently tap them down on the ground and we're ready to move on to the frosting. So for the first color of piping, I have some Snake Island Green, and this is mixed with titanium dioxide. So you're getting this perfect little cacti plop on top. I've also let it sit up just a little bit so that those ridges are really defined because this definitely looks like a real cactus, like the kind that you can get at maybe like a hardware store or something, and they're all in the little pots, and they're like, hey, it's orange, <laughs> put this on your desk. This was a really creative and balanced design. I'm super impressed with what she was able to pull off with her colors. I also really like designs that are done digitally because it looks like a work of art. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I also like the ones that are drawn and stuff too, but there's something about those digital ones that makes me think, and now that you've sent that to me, you should open up a Society6 store and sell these as prints. You guys have been asking for like a succulent cacti so forever. I may do a succulent one in the future, but you guys also know I don't really like following trends and those are really trendy right now. Pretty much everyone has their own version of them. So I'll probably wait till they go out of style a little bit. All right, and so now that I've done this first green, I've got to mix up the next green, which is slightly darker than the first one. And that's the one that's gonna envelop the flower on top. Okay, so for this next layer, I still have the Snake Island green, but I've added a little less titanium dioxide, so it's slightly darker. And I've also put some of it down the sides. So even more so are we getting those little green shimmery bits. You also have to remember when doing piping that whatever color you pick is still going to slightly lighten up. So I've done it a tiny bit darker than it will end up being. I also did not clean my piping bag out because I also want little bits of that lighter green to kind of poke through a little bit because that's what I saw on her drawing. Okay, so with that next layer on, I'm gonna mix up the final layer, which is 
the pink. For this next bit, I am using a Russian piping tip to get that beautiful flower on top. I've had a lot of people request Russian piping tips on this channel. You can absolutely use them for soap. I often don't have a lot of need for them for my specific designs because they do make florals and I don't do a lot of like actual piped flowers, but they are really, really pretty and you do have to wait until your soap is very set up before you start piping with them. Otherwise your design is gonna be kind of modeled. It's just not gonna have that good floral opening on top looking like petals. So basically I started piping this a little bit early so I had to add the salts on off camera. There's a few little spots that still need some and these salts are representative of the little spikes on cacti. I'm just gonna put these last couple ones on and then we're gonna spritz with rubbing alcohol and that is the end of the cactus root soap. So this is what the cactus root soap looks like up close. You can see the discrepancy in the piping tip. I should have waited longer but I was slightly impatient. Either way they all still look like flowers anyway and I love the greens on top. So we're gonna wait 18 to 24 hours and then we're gonna chop these up, take a peep at the inside and hopefully we have a nice gravelly rooty looking bottom. And we'll be back to do all those things after this quick commercial break. We're back 18 to 24 hours later. I have not cut any of these soaps. This is gonna be the first time I'm seeing the inside. I'm crossing my fingers, but I'm legit so stinking excited. So I'm gonna turn it on its side. That way those salts don't mess anything up. Y'all see those little white bits? <gasps> I hope they look good. Gotta line this up with my multi-bar cutter. Kermit, that looks about right. It's so much easier to cut cold process soap in beds. Don't press down. Okay, so let's pull one out of the middle. <gasps> success, my friends, we have success. So we got the little chunky bits of like soil and gravel down here. We've got the little cactus roots coming down here. And now you can see all that swirling that I did, it really did pay off because it looks the way it's supposed to. We've got the two-toned piping. And then of course we have the flower. So here is the design and here here is the soap. I'm pretty sure I nailed it. This might be the best one that I've done as far as fan designs, as far as like looking close to the original design. They're nearly identical. The lush succulent fragrance soil was perfect for this design. Also, it looks really good that it isn't completely flat on the bottom because that's more realistic. So you guys, y'all have to tell me, do you like the succulent trend? The trend of everyone having succulents everywhere. I want to know, do you guys like that trend or do you wish that more house plants were getting more notice? That's gonna be the question of the day. So to vote on that, all you have to do is click the I in the upper right hand corner of of the screen. The Cactus Root Soap will be available to purchase on September 7th at 3 p.m. Central Standard Time, royaltysoaps.com. And I know after all of you guys see this one, you're gonna be like, okay girl, time for a succulent soap. I promise, I'll make one. I might make one next year. Maybe I'll make one in December, but I will make one eventually. Be sure you do something fun for yourself today, whether that is going out and getting yourself a nice inflatable pool. Caleb and I just bought Lily one and I haven't blown it up yet, but I know she's gonna love it when I do. Or maybe trying a new tasty snack like pollywog shakes. <laughs> Oh my gosh, don't actually do something like that. That's just a little funny thing from the book. I'm being a nerd about the book. I don't know. Either way, you just be sure to do something that makes you happy today and I'll see you guys soon. Also be sure to follow us on Instagram because again, we're getting really close to hitting 100K on Instagram. We're gonna do a big fat giveaway and you definitely wanna be a part of that. And subscribe to Kenny's channel, but don't tell him that I sent you over there. Let's just bombard him with a bunch of subs and have no explanation as to why. <laughs> and I'll see you all soon, so until next time. Bye for now. Yeah.